Hey everybody, Joel, ImportToss.com, and today I wanted to show you the anatomy of a P1 mirror. This is going to be the mirror that attaches to either your driver door or your passenger door. Stick around, we're going to break it apart, show you all the internal parts, some tips, some tricks, some things that you need to know. Okay, so after uh, the blizzard that we just had, uh, we had to go get some extra mirrors. These are actually all trash. Uh, the new ones are on. Uh, we just had so much weight on ours from all the snow that they just crumbled. So uh, I figured this is a good opportunity to kind of show you some of the things uh, that we learned and just some of the things that you're gonna wanna know. Um, so starting off, to remove your mirror uh there is a single 13 millimeter bolt here right this is behind the door panel so uh in also uh right behind the uh front tweeter or speaker um you can try to kind of pop that and pry that off to reach that 13 but you still need to have the door panel off to get the wiring harness that plugs down into the door module so uh getting the door panel off pulling this 13 mil and then just pulling that off and the wire harness will fish through the door and the whole assembly is out. Uh, starting off, let's take a look at the cover, right? So uh, this is a good example of one. Uh, the clear coat's all uh, vanished off. It's uh, starting to peel. Pretty common if you guys aren't putting wax on there and uh, keeping that uh, sealed up. Here's an example of a newer one, looks nice. Uh, so when we went to the junkyard, doesn't matter what color we get, we just grab it and then we pop off our caps on our blue one and they're interchangeable. Uh, and that is the case from 06 all the way to 12. Um, so popping that off is pretty easy. Uh, it's gonna be kind of, as you see, a flush there. And really what we do is we just take uh, the smallest flathead that we have and it kind of start in this corner and we start working it out all the way across. When you get that off, uh, there's going to be a couple tabs that will show you. Uh, typically, a lot of these get broken. So, um, you know, this is one that actually has all of them. So, right, we have three little hooks, right? One, two, and three. And those are actually just going to kind of sit down in here. One, uh, two, and three. They kind of just hook into it, right? There's some little spots here. Um, I don't know if, uh, nope, they look the same on that mirror too. And uh, those three little indents kind of fit into there as well. We see two little more indents up top, which are going to rest up in this area. Um, so if you needed to change your marker light, you do have to take this off. The process for that is remove that. And then this thing uh, kind of wedges back in between there. Um, so you can kind of uh, you know, just kind of push it and work it up. It's a lot easier to do with two hands, but let's see if we can get that out for you real quick. I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so the easiest way was to stick a flathead kind of in here and pop that out, right? So then that thing just slides out. Inside of there is your turn uh, blinker. We've swapped these out with bright uh, hyper white LEDs um, and that thing just uh, slides right into the hole there. Uh, we've also done a V-Vivid uh, yellow wrap on ours, so that's really cool. It kind of brings out the color. Um, but that would be how you change this light here. And this one just kind of, uh, let's see, uh, just slides out like that. Sorry, it just pops out. Um, if you're using the factory one, there's no polarity. If you get an LED, you may have to, uh, before you put the light back in and before you put the cap back on, uh, test your uh, hazards and make sure that your um, LED is in there correctly if it's uh, polarity sensitive. Next, uh, everyone says, what are those yellow button on the key fob for? Those are your puddle lights, which are found under here right? This piece is even harder to get out. Uh, you have to kind of pry from both ends and pop out that cover. And it's going to look very similar. Once you get there, you just have uh, the slide in uh, that just kind of goes into the light. Let's see if we can pull that out. Um, and 
there would be a light there, but we uh, took it and put it in a pile. Right, so when you look at this, when we put ours back on, we always have to put some kind of little glue or goop because there's one kind of tab hook here and there's one on the other side too. But when you pop that out, it's almost impossible to pop one side or the other out and it always ends up breaking one of those. So we uh, pry that off and then when we put it back in, we still have one on one side and then we just put a little, uh, you know, a dab of super glue there. No one's gonna see it because, um, you know, as you look, unless someone's, uh, you know, on their back looking up at your mirror, so it, it will be in there just fine. On these ones, we have switched out with LED, uh, like a hyper blue, just a killer blue, so that when uh, we do a disarm on our car or some, you know, lock the car, we have the puddle light set for the, you know, the safe home uh, feature, like 30 seconds or 60 seconds, and it illuminates uh, everything up really nice. Um, let's look at, uh, so again, this was a blizzard failure. Um, and what happened is inside of the mirror, there are, or this, there is this, uh, round metal ring, right? We see that and it has, uh, the, the three kind of tabs. And then on here you have the three tabs that go in there. Ours are snapped off. So what happens is those kind of press down in there. And so if you're having that issue, I mean, that's pretty rare, but um, you know, that's not really something that you can fix uh, once those plastic tabs are broken. Um, so uh, after that, uh, let's take a look at uh, the wire connector. So as we saw, the wire connector goes in. This is going to juice up your turn signal light. It's gonna juice your puddle light. It's going to allow your uh, power mirror motor to move. And then also an interesting thing is if you look under, there is a door right there, right? And you're thinking, well, that would just be access to um, that prong. But look at this, if you flip it over, we have a sensor and some wires and we can see on the wiring harness those two white ones go there this is your outside uh temperature sensor right so if you are looking at your cluster uh you will see oh the outside temp is you know whatever it is that comes off of this guy um it has its own part number and it, it looks like it is uh you know it, it's pretty much sealed on there it's glued it doesn't look like this is coming off um so I haven't had to replace it, but if you did, I would say, you know, get one from the junkyard and it would be easier to probably splice these wires and then add it in rather than try to uh, pop that off. Cause it looks like it is, um, you know, it's uh, it's got a seal in or, or uh, some kind of glue that just holds that sensor in place. So um, that is uh, an overview of the P1 mirror. Um, again, the cap, the blinker, the puddle lights, the temperature sensor, um, the wiring harness comes out through the door, 13 millimeter. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention, if you guys have your uh, mirror, and let's say it's not dangling like that, like, you know, here's still a good one, and it is on the door, let's say that's the door, but you have a gap, right? If you have this piece that is not sitting flush against the door, it's kind of popped out or it's kind of loose, um, what happens is that 13 millimeter bolt actually just bolts onto this foam right here, right? So the bolt doesn't go through anything. And then what holds the foam to the actual mirror are these three uh, like screw rivets. And those things are kind of just, um, we can see here, uh, they're just plastic, right? They're plastic and plastic. And then inside is the actual frame here. So uh, a lot of times this plastic may, uh, like one of these tabs may break. And as soon as you get a little separation in this area, let's say you just have a little gap, maybe that, um, you know, see, as we can see, it's, it's completely severed there. So if you have a little gap like that and the mirror's sitting off and it's kind of loose, it's not necessarily something that you can easily fix, right? You can take this off and you can open this up and you can try to re-glue some of this plastic in here, but you're kind of essentially gluing it. Um, there is a metal tab. Um, you can pull the plastic off and, and you know try to work that. 
and maybe do a screw or something, but that's pretty thin plastic. So if you are experiencing a saggy mirror, that's what it is. And it's easier to go to the junkyard, as you can see here, and pick up a complete one for just a couple bucks. So um, hopefully that helps out, uh, gives you some motivation and maybe put some cool LEDs inside of your blinker or your puddle lights. Uh, but again, that was an overview of a P1 uh, Volvo mirror.